Hello, this is how to use the QML Forms editor that exists inside the Integrated Development Environment Qt Creator. This is the Qt Maintenance tool, the Qt Online Installer. I have installed Qt Creator, the latest version, and the latest version of Qt 6.10 Desktop. I have started Qt Creator and I have opened a sample QML application. This is the C++ source code, just minimal, it's opening the layouts.qml file. And then this is the QML. This is the source code of the QML file, but uh, Qt Creator has in its left-hand side toolbar a button switch to design mode control 3. This is disabled by default because the QML Forms editor in Qt Creator is a plugin that's not enabled by default. Let's enable that plugin first. Qt Creator main menu, help, about plugins. Qt Quick. And we have a choice between Qt Quick Designer Base Qt Quick Designer Deprecated and Qt Quick Designer Light Experimental. Let's um, see the one that's deprecated first. It says that uh, the Qt Creator Integrated Development Environment reads to restart the process. We're in Layouts QML and now the Design button switch to Design Mode Control 3 is enabled. This is how the editor looks like. The editor cannot uh, edit all QML files. There's a QML file error, line 10. Application window is not supported as a root element by Qt Design Studio. I'll create a QML project, one that can be edited in uh, this designer, and I'll be back. So I have opened a minimal Hello World Qt Quick Controls application. This is how it looks like. Has a window, a column, text, entry button and a pop-up menu. Let's run it. So this is the edit box, the button, the pop-up menu with a label and uh, the close button. Let's see how this looks like in the legacy editor plugin for QML in Qt Creator. So we have the outline of the QML file, that's a top level QML item of type window and ID window with lowercase w. Under that there's a column with a text field and a button. We can use the property editor to edit the properties of the currently selected item, such as the button. Let's change the color of the background. How do we do that? The Qt Quick Control button doesn't have a color property. It says invalid property name color. So let's change something else. Let's change the text.
click to open menu. How do we save everything and run? Click to open menu. Close button. Let's have some text. Okay, so this is the legacy deprecated plugin for Qt Creator for editing GML files. It has properties. You can see the GML source code. You can see the GML preview. There's a palette where you can uh, add new controls and items towards the form. Let's add a rectangle. Let's see how to do that. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So if you click rectangle, I managed to make it work by dragging the control. Okay, so if this editor works, doesn't have issues, then it's what you would expect from a forms editor that exists, for instance, in other integrated development environments such as the WinForms editor in Visual Studio C Sharp editor for Windows or in Delphi. Properties, tool window, source code, the form, palette and layout of the form. Let's now try to use the other QML forms editor. So from the Qt creator main menu, help about plugins, let's say first. About plugins. And at Qt uh, Quick, we deselect the Qt Quick Designer deprecated, and we enable Qt Quick Designer Light Experimental inside in instead of this one. Back to where it were because, was because I don't really understand what it's saying. So if I enable Qt Quick Designer Light Experimental, QML Designer, the deprecated one, is a dependency of the experimental one. Well, I thought Qt Quick Designer Lite was the future and Qt Quick Designer was the past. But I'm not sure anymore. Okay, let's see what's the difference. It's certainly a different editor. It uses different settings because it doesn't show the source code any longer. And maybe the, there's some styling changes applied to the look. The Assets tab is on the bottom and the Projects tab used to be on the top left and now it's on the bottom left tool window.
So this is the newer experimental plugin for editing QML, but this is missing important features that I really want, or I don't know how to enable them. So I couldn't find a way to display both the preview of the QML window, but I also want to see the QML source code at the same time in a tool window in here. I do not know how to show that. Then I do not know how to close various tabs. There's no context menu if I click on a tab, like the navigator. There's no close button on the tab. So all of these features do exist on the previous plugin. The deprecated one. So this one has more features than the newer one. And the old one is mandatory if you want to use the newer one. So for now I will just disable Qt Quick Designer Lite Experimental and um, I will continue using the Qt Quick Designer Deprecated until there's a better alternative. There was some bug there. The Qt Creator refused to restart. I need to start from scratch. I need to open the project. Let's get to the QML file and the design tab. And now you can see this close button. All of the tabs have a close icon. There's also a context menu on the tabs, which allow me to close the tab and uh, the tool window for code is available. So I couldn't prove that uh, the newer QML designer was better in any way than the existing one. Unfortunately, the properties tool window is showing the properties grouped. I cannot, uh, I do not know how to show the various properties in alphabetical order. So it takes some time until I manage to find the text for a text item or for a button. So it's in button content text. It's in character text, text, character text or the text item. Let's look a bit at bindings. Let's run the application. I have added two more uh, QML items of type text. It says you have provided the value and then hello. The first one is a hard coded string literal. The second one is a binding. If we go to the property text in the properties tool window, so in here, for this item, there's the value. You have provided the value column. For this other text, there's this icon with two, with a chain. It's the icon for the binding says that a binding is applied to this property, the text. Let's show additional tool windows in this uh, design view. So from the main menu of Qt Creator, view, views, and then, for instance, there's the connections. If you have um, 3D QML, then there's this uh, 3D option. I'm only using 2D QML. Transitions, timeline, and states. We're not using those. 
and in the tab for bindings inside the tool window connections we can see uh, this binding says that text field so from uh, the um, item text field property text it goes towards the current object property text let's put some ideas in here So this is the row with the item and then this is the row with the property and this is the column for the from and this is the column for to. I have clicked on the chain icon and set binding. This has crashed Qt Creator and when I restarted Qt Creator, apart that from the fact that it uh, forgot that um, this project has been opened and then Qt Creator has closed incorrectly, not cleanly. So if Qt Creator crashes, when you restart Qt Creator, it should open the same project, right? Because you didn't manage to unload the current project. And then it also forgot the fact that I have shown additional tool windows in this design mode. So I have enabled this one, connections. So after you edit the tool windows, you should just close Qt Creator. And hopefully next time Qt Creator will remember what you did with the tool windows. What am I doing? File recent projects. And now it remembered that the connections tool window should be present at the bottom right. Mm 